Welcome this tutorial on GM over ID technique. Before moving to GM over ID technique, let us discuss what is wrong with our conventional design technique. In the conventional design technique, we design circuit using the square law. That is, we know the famous equation most current id equal to mu c o x into w by l into v g s minus v t whole square by 2. This is a very old equation and the time it was developed this equation was very accurate but now the devices are very very small and there are a lot of uh, non idealities and there are a lot of phenomenon that happen in the there are a lot of new phenomenon in the MOSFET that cannot be explained using the square law for example all the short channel effect like drain induced barrier lowering uh, channel length modulation and the effect of length and width on the threshold voltage and reverse drain induced barrier lowering and there are a lot of many many short channel effect that cannot be explained using the uh, square law. So if you have some specifications, so if you have some specifications for your design and generally we do the hand calculation. Generally, we do the hand calculation before going to the simulator. And once we once we got the values of hand calculation, we will design our circuit. And we'll put that circuit into some simulator like Cadence or Spice. And we will get the result. But the problem here is, for the hand calculation, we use the square law. But the simulator is using the models which are provided to the simulator. These models are very advanced. And they are very accurate. And they include all the short channel effect. But the, our old square law doesn't include any of the short channel effect and it is not accurate so this doesn't match so our square law and this models doesn't match so whatever we calculated is not accurate so that our specification and the result also doesn't match so so the designers thought about a technique thought about that thought about a design procedure which includes uh, the short channel effect and all the other new phenomena so gm over id technique is one of the one of those technique uh, which uh, in which considers the non which considers the short channel effect also into picture so in the gm over, over id technique our uh, design flow will be we will have the specifications And we will do the hand calculation. So earlier for the hand earlier for the hand calculation we used uh, uh, the square law, but here instead of square law we will use some uh, tables or plots for the hand calculation. And we will generate these tables and plots from the model, which is very accurate, which is very advanced and accurate, and which contains all the information regarding the short channel effect. So after the ca hand calculation, we will design our circuit, and we will give the circuit to some simulator, 
like cadence or spice and we will get the result and here the simulator is also using the same model so there is no difference between the characters of characteristics in the plots and characteristics in the model they match so our calculation or hand calculation will match very match closely to the simulation result and so that our specification will match uh, with the result so gm over id is one of such technique in which we are not using the square law instead we are characterize the mosfet and prepare tables or plots and using the plots or tables for in the hand calculation for the design so this is all about the gm over id technique now what are the pl uh, plots that we require for gm over id technique and how we do the characterization and all so for the gm over id technique for the gm over id technique we will characterize the mosfet in detail and as the name indicates we will find gm id and gm over id of the mosfet after this we need uh, more information like uh, the transit frequency ft of the mosfet and transit frequency into gm over id and we need the intrinsic gain generally we denote gain as gm r0 but this r0 will not be available directly in the simulators simulators generally use the term G gds so r0 is equal to 1 by gds so gm r0 comes as gm by gds so this is a term that we are interested in and uh, Another parameter that we are interested in is the uh, current density that is I0, I, sorry, ID by W. That is how much current flows for a particular, for how much current is available per unit width. And designers will extract a lot, lot of many other parameters like CGS, CGS, CGG, CGD, CDS, and many other parameters from the MOSFET design uh, depending on their design. If their design requires all these capacitors and all these values, they, they will extract those also from the uh, from the MOSFET. So after characterizing the MOSFET in detail, we will make the plots. The plots so initially we will make the plot with respect to VGS. So we can plot GM with respect to VGS, then ID with respect to VGS, then we can even plot GM over ID with respect to VGS. So these plots are very easy. And uh, after that, we have to plot FT and uh, GM by GDS, everything uh, with respect to VGS. This is also very easy, we can plot it. So the plots that required in the GM over ID te technique is first of all we need GM over ID then people are interested how transit frequency changes with GM over ID how uh, intrinsic gain GM over GDS versus GM over ID and uh, FT into GM over ID versus GM over ID and the fifth parameter is ID by W the current density versus gm over id so as we <coughs> explained earlier 
when we do the when we do the characterization generally we sweep the bgs and we will keep the length as a variable and and we will do the characterization for different length and different vgs so when you sweep the vgs the x axis will be always vgs so it will be very easy to plot gm or gm over id or or ft with respect to vgs it will be very easy we can directly plot in uh, we can directly plot from the cadence but the gm over id technique require all the plot with respect to gm over id so we need ft with respect to gm over id we need ft into gm over id uh, with respect to gm over id and after that we need gm over gds with respect to gm over, gm over id and uh, id by w with respect to gm over id so all the plots in the gm over id technique we need the x axis as gm over id it is so it is not easy to plot the parameters with respect to gm over id directly in cadence it is possible in cadence it is it is not impossible in cadence it is possible but it is little bit difficult it is not straightforward to plot these parameters Uh, with respect to gm over id in cadence so this tutorial is organized as in the first tutorial we will characterize the mosfet and we will save the parameters that we are interested so those parameters are gm id gm over id ft gds and we need gm over gds and many other parameters as as we interested so we cannot plot so in cadence we cannot directly plot a parameter with, uh, with respect to gm by Uh, gm over id but it is easy very easy to plot with respect to vgs so in the first tutorial we will plot uh, in the first tutorial we will plot all these parameters uh, with respect to vgs and uh, it require a little bit of ocean scripting and special codes to Uh, plot all the parameters with respect to gm over id so in the next in the second tutorial we will plot all the parameters that is required for the gm over id technique we will plot all of them in cadence uh, with the help of ocean scripting and all in the third tutorial we will plot them in matlab so in the first tutorial we will collect all the data and we will save the data as a file and in the third tutorial in we will use the file and we will read the file and plot all the parameters uh, in matlab and if you don't like matlab you can directly plot them in cadence using our second tutorial so in the fourth tutorial uh, we will inter interpret the data in the fourth tutorial we will interpret the simulation result or the plot uh, till now we didn't uh, explain what are the plots that uh, gives uh, that what are the plots that gives us useful information and what are the implication of these plots and what how the how this ft how this gm how we will design and uh, how important these parameters we didn't explain any of them now uh, but all of them we will interpret all the all the plots and all the that data we will interpret in our fourth tutorial and in the fifth tutorial we will do some simple examples of uh, we will do some simple examples of gm over over id technique and uh, 
in future we will do more examples more example of geomer overridey technique so let us go to cadence and do the characterization of mosfet and uh, save all these parameters so that we can plot them in cadence or matlab